hanging out here today in Hastings at Tim Sears Jr.'s shop. Boy, he it, right now, let me see, it's just a little after 8 o'clock on Friday. If everything had worked out in a perfect world, Tim would be in his suit right now. He'd be getting ready for his heat race, as, of course, they were supposed to go to Atomic in Ohio this weekend, but that was rained out. Was it Wednesday night or Thursday night, Tim, they pulled the plug on that? Um, I think it was Wednesday. I think it was, too, but I'm not sure. Yeah. So, And I know you you told me you were really looking forward to that because it's a new track, right? Yeah, I mean, no one's really no one's been there. I mean, people have no don't get me wrong it's a racetrack a lot of people have been right. there but none of us have <laughs> none of us have run laps there so it was a uh, pretty neutral ground i was excited to go did you do any research on it to kind of see what it was like uh well i watched some videos on it and it looks pretty cool it kind of kind of looks like it races a lot like bridgeport oh really the new bridgeport or the old bridgeport the new bridgeport the three eights not yeah. the big old five eights so well hopefully we'll get a chance to to go back there again then so yeah. when's the next series race do you know off the top uh, of your head? k&m Oh, two, that's right. First weeks. weekend in April. There's yep. second weekend in April, right? Is it 9th and 10th? Uh, it's or? a 9th. Yeah, so yeah. two weeks, guys. you got time. So if you're not quite ready yet. And that's a so full-blown Super Dirt Car Series race, not, yeah. right? Yep. Yeah, because they've started out the past few seasons, I think, doing that. Yep. Last year, he was top five at both of his regular tracks, Brewerton, of course, where they run big blocks, and Fulton, where they run small blocks. He lost points the last week because... They were running points, but Lebanon Valley has that series race, so he didn't get any points, obviously, for that. 11th on the Super Dirt Car Series. He had a third place last year at Weed Sports Speedway back in 2019. He had a runner-up finish. He estimates somewhere in the range of 50 races. So is that about what we're thinking about this year, pretty much the same kind of thing? Yeah, as of right now, we're looking to do the same schedule as last year, so we'll, uh, we'll see where it goes. What's the car that's next to you? Um, this is a new TD5. We just got it. This is the one that was in the booth, Troyer booth at oh, the right. Parts Peddler. Mm -hmm. So we just we just got it just after. Oh, this got is the it one from just, the fall there. Yep, okay, we, just, gotcha. we got it home just after Christmas, and uh, here it sits. So obviously it's ready. It could have ran tonight. Nothing else left to do, right? Nope. Okay. It's ready. How about the small block? I couldn't help but notice I don't see one in here. No, nope, <laughs> And I didn't nope. see one at Tom's place either. Nope, nope. We haven't got that yet, so we're... Uh, we're waiting for that. We got everything ready for it. We're just waiting for the car. Oh, so you've got everything ready to bolt onto the chassis, body, transmission, engine, rear end, all that stuff? Uh, yep, the body's coming with the car. But other than that, we have we have all the parts and everything to put it together. So. Okay. How long will it take you? I was with Ronnie Davis there a couple of weeks ago when we put his small block together. Was it three, four, five nights maybe, something like that from yeah, Bear Yeah, probably pretty close. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll have it together, together in probably about a week. Okay, good, good. I have to come out and see it when it's done, though. When are you anticipating getting that? Um, we just talked to them guys the other day and we're probably looking at probably a couple weeks. Okay. All right. Well, let me know. I'll come on out and see. Cause again, you saw it. If you didn't watch it, search Ronnie Davis, the third on this, on this channel and you can see what he did. Did you follow that? I, no? I seen it, but I never clicked on it. Cause he had that different front end. Uh, yeah. That one piece. You tell me this one doesn't have that. Nope. Nope. This is a standard one. This is a standard TD five. It's just like. It's got the same front clip as a Bicknell car, pretty much. Was there a reason that we did it that way? Um, you just like what you like? No, it's just the standard Troyer car. We just stick with the standard stuff. We're okay. Not, we're not for trying too much. Okay. So at Brewerton, you go, are you a guy who comes in with goals? You just want to win races? You want a championship? What do we want to happen at Brewerton? <sighs> well, you always want to win races and stuff. If you win enough, championships will come. But True. We just, we've been really close. We've been in the top two or three at the end of the year we were leading a couple of years ago points in the last race and didn't finish so we've had some really rough luck in trying to get the championship but we've had some really strong years over there yeah i think jimmy won a couple of years ago without a win didn't he yeah so consistency obviously if you get top fives every night it, the points yep. should take care of themselves. yeah that was huh? the year i was leading the points and broke that on was the, last the one yeah oh you broke on the last night yeah i didn't finish the last night leading the points was that the, the year two years ago when you had the really big crash too or was it 19 no, that was the year before. That was the year before. Yeah. Okay. Somebody got squirrely on a start or something, and they just... Yeah, we all ended up piled up. Got the cage and everything, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah, and you don't want to fool with that, right? No, no, that was, compromises the whole car. Yeah, we'll clip the car from the firewall or in front of the radiator and not feel anything at all, but when you do get the cage, that's it. Fulton... Um, I think things are looking up there myself. It seems like there's small blocks coming out of the woodwork. Are you thinking the same thing? Uh, well, at the end of the, all year last year, Fulton had a pretty good car count. They just, it was really hit or miss. Either we had 18 cars or we had 28 cars. It was kind of all over Seriously, the place. Seriously, it went it was, that low? Yeah, I don't know if it was quite that low, probably right around 18 to 20 cars, but it was it was really close. Don't worry, I didn't think I got you on the camera shot that time. It was close, <laughs> but uh, she was, she was, his wife was reaching over to make sure she didn't get on camera. So um, I kind of thought, realistically, they might be in the 30s last year. Is that a possibility this year, or are the outside factors maybe 
keeping the car count a little lower. What do you think? I'm not sure. I don't know what the. I'm not really sure what the car count's going to be. We'll see at the, we'll see at the first race. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll be coming up soon. So Fulton, they start two day high bank hold up weekend. Big blocks one night, small blocks the next. Obviously going to do them both. Um, actually, I think the I think it's just uh, oh no, that's right. It's small, sprints yeah. and small blocks. You're right. Small blocks. Yeah, that's we'll be right. ready for the first race here. Okay. Ever thought about doing a sprint? I've thought about it, but the only way I'm getting one of them is if someone gets it for me. Grandma, Grandma and Dad and the family won't. We, we're not getting one of them. <laughs> they don't support that idea. No. <laughs> I know a few guys who said, I'd have to get divorced and remarried if I got a sprint car, too. Yeah, so. well, yeah, it's kind of the same thing as if I got a motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. All right, so a little dirt bike here that your son's is one thing, right? But a, yeah. a Harley like Tom, that would be... Yeah, uh, no, it's still no. <laughs> no, no. Two wheels never got you excited? Uh, they do, but I'm just too young and dumb still. <laughs> <laughs> I get that. So, um, Series races, got a new place this year for you, Big Diamond, of course. Uh, they were there in 08 and 09. And what's the other one? Oh, uh, Brownsburg, right, down in Pennsylvania. Uh, no, not Brownsburg. It's something like Bloomsburg. That. Bloomsburg. I knew yeah. it was close. So, Yeah, uh, we were supposed to go there last year, but they canceled that one. I think Tom was at Big Diamond all those years ago, so he might have some information yeah, I'm not sure. for you there. A little tight paper clip, by the way. So now what do we do all weekend? We, we got a little extra time with your family? You don't, yeah. The car's all set. So Yeah, we're going to uh, – tomorrow we got – uh gymnastics and ninja class in the morning so we'll we'll do that and then we'll mm. we got some probably hang out around the garage for the day okay how many wins do you think we'll get this year uh, hoping what, a lot what's the over under i don't know i'd like to i mean last year we picked up nine so i'd wow. like to i'd like to i'd like to try and top it but that was, last year we had a really good year okay a dozen would be cool then well, let's yeah, see how it goes, yeah. right so it would be really cool i would i don't know we'll see we'll see where the year goes mm -hmm. but couldn't help but notice, man, all these, every every part of the car is sponsored. Must be very fortunate to have all these people back behind you. Yeah, we got a lot of very good help. Troy Dirt Cars and e &V Energy, Pit Stop, Mullen, uh, LJL Kevlar, all the guys over there at the engine shop, and John and Laura, they all help us out a lot. And we just, we got a lot of very good people behind us, and we're very fortunate to do what we do. May you go the route, may your son, who's four years old, go the same route possibly? I don't you know. thought about that? We'll see. It, it all depends on what he wants to do. Mm -hmm. I mean... If he wants to do it, this stuff's a lot of hard work, and he's going to have to put work in just like all of us. So mm -hmm. we'll see, we'll see what he we'll see what he wants to do. Yeah, because I've heard a conversation from a lot of parents before going, if they do the work, I'd get him a car. Yeah, so. oh, absolutely. If he wanted to race tomorrow, if he wanted to do it, we would we would probably work something out. Okay, all right. What was your first experience? Oh man, I got ran right into a sportsman car. So you didn't do carts and micro no. or quarter midgets or anything. No. How old were you? I was fifteen. 15 yeah. okay so yeah did it happen right away did you pick it up right away uh well we started out because that was the first year in 2007 they had the oh the no novice the, class yes. and john started that that was the same year larry started racing and oh we all raced that together and we uh we did pretty good we we won six races our first year so we, we i'm not gonna say we didn't do bad mm -hmm. but we did pretty good did they force you up or did you move up um, actually back then they didn't have, oh, they didn't none have of the that because they actually had a okay. points thing for it that year. So it was, we got to race it all year and then we just moved up to regular sportsman the next year. Mm -hmm. Did you win the first year in regular sportsman? No, I did not. Oh, you did? I guess no. I thought you did. I was... No, the fir very first race, regular sportsman, the opener at Fulton, I finished second to John Petrovich. So it was, hmm. and then you, after that, we just never got to start really good. And I wasn't coming from the novice class. I wasn't yeah. really that great at coming through traffic. So we. We struggled a little bit. We had some really good runs, and especially with all those cars good. too. Right? Yeah, there so, was a lot of cars back then too, so it was yeah. it was tough. Yeah, so if you ran well, you were starting 15, 16, 17 every week, right? Yeah, we were we we rarely started in the top ten my first year, so we we mm -hmm. were pretty good. We we fared pretty well, but uh, we also wrecked some stuff too. <laughs> it happens, right? The faster yeah. you get, sometimes it's just like it works out that way. Hit the bluey guys; that'll let you know every time we're doing something. Timmer, I really appreciate you having me out. Love the place here. You know, yeah. they got as much garage space as they have in their house. Exactly. And I know a lot of your racers are going, oh, man, that's what I want, too. So good to see you, and I'll talk to you before K&M, okay? Yes, sir. Thanks.